I've had some questions lately uh, concerning a bounding box, being able to uh, decide what size packaging that you're going to need to ship your party in. Uh, and how SOLIDWORKS can handle that. Well, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you a little bit of uh, macro or API uh, writing, uh, just to show you how what, what is possible in SOLIDWORKS. So as you see here, we just have a regular part uh, that we've got in here, and we would like to know what size we need to put that in. Now, what's the overall size of this thing? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna select this part and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna tell it to go tools, macro, and run. And I'm gonna ask it to run this bounding box macro. Move it up a little bit so I can get to the open. And as you can see, when I run the bounding box macro, uh, SolidWorks actually runs a macro that puts a 3D sketch or a 3D box around my part. Now at any point in time, I can go in at that point and just say I wanna do some measurement and there is my size uh, height there is my width and of course then here is my depth so as you can see uh solidworks pretty quickly i guess i that's not uh, what we were looking for is it the width uh, it is the same. It's circular, so therefore it makes sense that it would be the same uh, as the width as it is depth. So uh, you see there that uh, SolidWorks through a macro has created a bounding box for this particular part. So if we do a control tab over to another part, and you can see that this one is a little off offsided bowl, but it still gives us the same opportunity. It still allows us to go in and select that part and run that macro on this part to pick or to select what our bounding box is or what our packaging dimensions are gonna be for this particular part. So you see there real quickly that we get a, uh, uh, a box. Now, what does this macro look like? Well, if we go back into the tools again and go down to macro, and this time let's do an edit. Then you can see, and click this and click open, and it opens it up in our Visual Basic. So we have now our Visual Basic and all of the, um, the code that's really written here goes into making that one macro. So uh, this is something that you can do in SolidWorks. Uh, this is something that uh, is available and uh, the uh, macro is available to you guys if you can make use of it and uh, dictate or calculating volume or calculating packaging or whatever you guys might be uh, interested in. So uh, if you would like to have it, you're welcome to it. Just send me an email at support at secant tech, that's S-E-C-A-N-T-T-E-C-H dot com and I'll be glad to send it to you. Just make sure in your email that you give me a return address and also that you uh, tell me that this is for the bounding box macro. Hope this has helped uh, explain some things to you guys or has helped you out in, uh, in your manufacturing process or your packaging process. Uh, if you would like to have more information, you can contact us at www.secanttech.com or you can call us at 501 835-6868. Thanks and have a great day.